Greetings, Gail. Um, so I got your email here, and I apologize for not getting back to it earlier. I, I read it, and I must have deleted it on, on accident, but um, I appreciate you sending it again. Um, so you have two questions. One is you've got multiple pictures, and you want to do a slideshow, and the other one is the video. Um, the, the, the CMS, the content management system that we use, um, we're allowing people to upload as many photos as they want. Photos don't take up very, very much storage space. But when it comes to video, um, video eats up a lot of storage space. So we're actually asking that people host their videos on an external site and then just embed them on the site. And I'll go over that as well. But the first thing is photos. Um, so I'm on your library page here and I've already logged into the back end. Um, what you want to do is you want to use the gallery module. So under content is the gallery module. It's the last one here. And you're going to click the gallery module. And these are all the different photo galleries for the school. Um, notice there's a pre-K. There's one here for Haynes, which is great. And open house. So I'm going to click on that just to see um, where that is or see if there's photos. Okay, great. So there's photos in there. So you, you know how to create a gallery. You basically... And you click list, it goes back to the beginning. Um, there's the main gallery, and then you can create sub-galleries. So, um, you know, if I, if I want to create a sub-gallery of the main gallery, uh, I would go to gallery, and then I would um, add a sub-gallery. So right now there's PRK, Sheila's Gallery, Haynes, Headers, and Sample. Um, your, the best practice is probably to create uh, a one for 2012 to 2013 school year um, and have all these underneath it um, so that we'll have different photo galleries for each year as we build but we can go back and reorganize that later um, and once you've created the gallery of course um, once you're in the gallery you can simply add photos by saying add images okay um, you click add images and this you already know but this is for the sake of people that haven't done it yet you add images, you choose your images, um, you can choose multiple ones, and then you click open, and they'll upload. After they upload, it'll refresh and your photos will come up right here. So once you've created the gallery, if you click back on list or gallery or here, go back to the main page, you'll see the tag you need to display the gallery. Okay, so in this case, um, you know, we can grab this tag, and I'm going to copy that text and then we're going to go to the library page and I'm going to put that gallery on the page. So we're going to the library and I'm going to put it on the bottom of the main page. So I'm going to scroll down. Scroll down here. And I'm going to paste that tag in. I'm going to hit apply and then I'll go back it should come up right here I'm going to refresh my page and, and there's the gallery um, you also notice that it shows sub galleries as well so this is a sub gallery within your main gallery so if you wanted to just show the open house one then we would go to um, and go back to the gallery I'll show you two things alright, sorry about that, my internet keeps coming in and out um, so I'm going to click the drop down here and you'll see open house. So this is the tag for open house. Um, you also want to notice I'm going to click on open house. I'm going to make uh, a master image. So let's see, I can take one of these and make it be the album cover. This one looks good. So I'll make that the album cover. And then that image should show up as the sub gallery album cover when I refresh the page so instead of this um, filler there you go so the sub galleries show up really nice as well 
And when people click on it, it'll start as a slideshow, and they can close it or pause it, or they can advance through previous and next, um, and they can close, and then they can click this, which will open up the that gallery, that sub gallery on this exact same page. It will replace the content, um, and then people can open that as well. The first time the gallery loads, um, so the first time it'll load, it could take a little while because all the photos actually need to load, depending on the size of the, the files. But once they load, they can zoom through the slideshow pretty quick. Um, people can go back. So that's the basic gallery. Um, let's see, the one thing to note is uh, something we just noticed today that you can you can do it in news as well and actually I'm gonna take that photo gallery out on your page because you may not want that there and I'm gonna go to the news and show you how to add a gallery to the news because it's slightly different um, I'm gonna go to the preschool gingerbread houses which is shown here on the front page um, and I'm gonna show you under the gallery, what this gallery looks like. So we see the pre-K gingerbread houses and this is the tag that you can put on any normal page. But you'll notice it's it's different than the tag that we used. Um, what we noticed was for some reason um, this is actually, this tag is actually a smarty code and um, for some reason it's conflicting with the, the gallery module when it's inside a news article. So this tag would not work. In fact, it breaks the website. Um, and there's no way to fix it currently. I'm contacting the, the people that created the module to see if there's a way to fix it. But currently um, there's a workaround which is to use this tag instead. Um, and I'm going to be doing a video on that as well. But it's, it's just CMS underscore module, module equals gallery and then the directory and that will work um, so it works the same way you just have to use that modified code so I'm gonna go ahead and just cancel that so that's how you add a photo gallery now you know as you can see it adds you know we'll go to the gingerbread one it adds the gallery it's these are 75 by 75 pixels and then the um, the photos pop up full size um, and it works pretty slick it's a nice gallery um, if you want it to look different, if you want the thumbnails to be larger or smaller or do different things, we have the ability to do that by, by creating a new template. Um, but that's the way the gallery is set up right now. Uh, your second question, um, try to keep it brief, I'm going to go back to your library page, is about videos. And um, like I said before, there's, there's no real good way of hosting videos on our site. If we did that, it would eat up a lot of our storage space and it would bog down the site and it would make it slow. It, it's not good for search engine optimization. A whole slew of reasons why we don't host our own videos. Um, so you want to host it somewhere else. Um, YouTube is great if, you're, if it's not blocked at your school. TeacherTube, SchoolTube, um, Vimeo, you know, those are some of the top embed sites. So if we had a, a video... Um, you know, a YouTube video that's uploaded. What you're generally looking for, um, I'll go to the one that I sent you earlier. What you're generally looking for is the sh either a share button or an embed button. And when you click on share, you'll see the embed. So this is a link. Here's the embed button. And you just copy that code um, onto, onto your web page. So again, I'll go to the library and I'll copy that code. And Vimeo, SchoolTube, TeacherTube, they all have an embed code. Okay, the only difference, the only problem here is that, uh, or the only thing you need to keep in mind is that you need to click the HTML button first in the editor, because right now it's in WYSIWYG mode, which is what you see is what you get, um, but you're actually adding in web code. You're actually adding in, you're, you're taking a piece of HTML code from this page and you're sticking it on this page. Um, or on your library page. So you need to click HTML first and then find out where you want to put the video and you put the code in. 
click update and there'll be a filler here and then when you click apply you'll see that on your actual page that video shows up so it'll pop up right here there it is um, now you can also adjust the size of it uh, the easiest way is when you're embedding you can actually choose a size here or put in a custom size um, you also of course have the option of doing it right with the code you can see the width is 560 the height is 315 so I can make that 230 and 160 update and apply and then refresh and you'll see it's going to be about half the size <laughs> Thank you, uh, just which people can always view full screen. So that's how you would add a video. Um, so I think that answers both of your questions. If you have any other questions, feel free to get, get a hold of me. I'll get back to you as soon as I can.